Yeah, welcome back. National Health Insurance Authority is assuring there will be no job losses as the scheme moves into full automation. Chief Executive Dr. Samuel Arno believes staff will be retrained in order to be useful in other areas of operation. He says the scheme is shifting into districts and remote areas where more hands will be needed. Speaking during a familiarization tour in the Ashanti region, Dr. Arno expects the scheme, which is currently operating 90% manual, uh, to go 90% automation in a year and a half time. It will be easy to train them on because when we go ICT, the ICT also needs a little bit of intervention. Maybe the rules and laws are there, but people need to be monitoring and checking which facilities are being flagged or doing things which is not in conformity with the average. So we still need quite a number of the workers. We still need quite a number of the workers. Some of them will also be interacting interrogating the members as his own. Like, Mr. Kwesi Pem is in this facility. They are requesting that they do appendicectomy on her. I mean, she can interact and find out, is it true, what is happening? You're admitting for how many days, input it in, in. Uh, what would you be using, what facility, what uh, medicine, what that. So all that interaction also needs staff to be taking place. Okay, and then you have He's supposed to have a sector may stay there for two days. Somebody here should verify, has Kwesi so and so been discharged after 48 hours? They say, no, 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 she'll go home tomorrow. Why? Verify, cross-check. Okay, so it's not that the staff will be redundant. They will be trained in a different... We don't think so. We'd even hire more hands. You heard on the floor there, in terms of the way we interface with the public, which is going to be our core business. We are putting people in each of the facilities so that when you go there, oh, where and cover, where and cover, all those stories, we should have an office station like the one we opened at the regional hospital. Okay, so that people will interact with the members much more. Uh, so the core business will shift, but I think we need more people. We're going to go more to the constituencies instead of sitting at the districts so that we interact with the people more to solve their problem, to deepen their confidence in the scheme. So that is the way we are going. Chief Executive of the NHIA there. Meanwhile, the authority has made a proposal to government to increase the 2.5% NHIA's levy collected under the value-added tax to 3.5%. According to the authority, again, the current contribution is woefully inadequate to fund the insurance scheme. For instance, smokers, some people might want to smoke a packet, two packets, or three packets a day. That tends to subject them more to respiratory problems, we tend to take them to the hospital. So they tend to use the mutual fund that all of us have to look after all of us at home more frequently. So we say let's put a little bit of tax on the cigarette. So it goes into the NHIA fund to look after those who also smoke a lot when they fall sick a bit more frequently. We have people who want to drink a lot every day. Those people too, we say, let's tax that habit or tax the alcohol a bit and put it in the health fund. We are not talking about a government tax that goes to government funds. We're talking about a health tax that goes into the National Health Insurance Fund. So uh, these habits which makes these people use the health facility a bit more, we use the reserve that we have on it to look after them. We're also talking that happens in most international conferences, international meetings, sugar tax. We have all come to the realization in the world that the misuse and abuse of sugar with its antecedent overweight sometimes. When we say sugar, we're talking about sugar and all its sugar related products. And the way it contributes to overweight, contributes to the incidence of diabetes and its subsequent hypertension. That these cost a lot into our health fund. So if people still want to consume a lot of sugar, a lot of sugar related drinks and the like, let's put a bit of tax on this sugar and sugar related drinks and foodstuffs and put it in the health fund so that when they get their diabetes or they get their hypertension as a result of the diabetes, we use some of this to look after them. Now you have, you have meeting workers at their 